Now, another cool little trick while we're doing our multicam edits, what if we want to have crossfades instead of hard cuts or butt cuts? So let's roll this along. I am living it now. Let's say right here. Because it's in the middle. I want to dissolve at this point. All I need to do is hold down the control key and click on my camera. So you can see if we zoom in a little bit more deeply there, we now have a crossfade. Food because it's in the middle. And we'll put in one more just for fun. Let's come down just a little farther. Maybe this one we want to change to a crossfade, so we're just simply going to hit the, the uh, forward slash key and it's a crossfade. Let's come to the middle of this one. And again, hold the control key as we click back to camera number one or press the number one key on our keyboard. And that also is now a crossfade. So let's re-enable our master view or our assembly track. Control shift D. Like food because it's in the and middle there's a crossfade. of the <laughs> I like thinking about what I ate yesterday. Now the crossfade length is determined in our project options settings or our preferences settings. So let's open our preferences. We'll go to the editing tab. And in the editing tab, we've got the cut to, cut to overlap conversion. So currently that's set up for a full second. Uh, I generally tend to keep this down in about the seven frame range. So we'll just manipulate that up or down to be the number of frames that we'd like it to be. There we go, 0 0.250 for 50. So now when we put in our next one, we'll put in one more right here. So let's go back to our multicam view, control shift D. And right here, I want to put in a crossfade to camera number one. Hold control. Notice now that my crossfade is significantly smaller than the ones that we put in earlier. We'll re-enable this. As I am living it now. And there's our fast crossfade. As I am living it now. Sir, I like food. So dropping the crossfades in is quite easy.